What's going on guys? Today, we have an unboxing. Alright, so let's get right into this. I have purchased an SHV UARTS online and I'm not going to mention where I got this thing from because honestly, I'm not going to give all my secrets away. So recently I sold some stuff from my collection and I got a credit on this website and I, I cashed a lot of it out but I left a lot of this stuff on web, on this website so uh, I could just shop around on it and stuff like that because there's some really good deals. Um, some of you may or may not know what it is but like I said I'm not going to mention it. But I saw this certain figure right here uh, on there for, and I, I, it was a really good deal. I had like $30 in credit and I ended up getting this for like 12 bucks. So um, $12 out of my bank account plus a third, almost the $30 that I had on credit. Not a bad deal whatsoever. So without further ado, let's go ahead and slice this box open and uh, get this unboxing started. It made me real nervous at first seeing just this great paper, but it is bubble wrapped inside, which makes it a whole lot better. Um, and they did wrap it up in some like, cardboard paper. So uh, let's see what's inside here. It looks like they were going to probably ship it with this and then decided not to. So thank you for that. We have guys, the one the only Son Goku from Dragon Ball. Guys, I love this little version of Goku. Kid Goku is, is he, he's almost just like an old Goku, let's be honest. They're both just real kittens, honestly. I'm getting really heavy into the SH figure art game, and you know, as you can tell on the shelf, well, let's just go over there. And that has inspired me to collect a lot more Dragon Ball Z stuff from Pops to Dragon Stars to SH figure arts, and as you can see, I really like SHV UARTS right now. So yeah guys, uh, let's get into this unboxing. So yeah guys, as you can see, the SHV UARTS, Funko Pops, Dragon Stars, all that good stuff. I'm getting quite heavy into that and I, I'm so glad because this is just such an awesome line to be to, to be a part of, you know? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this guy and show you guys what all he comes with. And the cool thing is, like I said, after all is said and done, it was only $42. And if you guys can see on the back of the box, it actually says $51.99. So um, yeah, this is awesome. You know, brand new in box, still had the plastic tape. Doesn't smell like it, but it smell like usual figures, but you know, it's okay, it's okay. Um, so let's go ahead and pop this over. All right, here, let's get that plastic off of there. There we go. And here is little Goku right out of the box. All right, so there's little Goku right out of the box with this smug little look. Looks like he's about to attack somebody. Uh, maybe gonna attack King Piccolo or whatever. Uh, but yeah, here he is out of the box. Uh, there's his hair on the back. There's his, is it the, the Roshi House logo there? Uh, or I know it's not Kami House. But uh, yeah, so there's that. He does come with a cool stand. Um, I'm actually gonna put this guy on a turntable and show you guys some poses of that. So there's Goku himself there. Um, we do get a tail that we can pluck into. As you can see, there's a little hole there um obviously so we put his tail there and he can have his little tail before he gets it cut off that's that's really cool before he goes all great ape um so there's little goku there um he ha also comes with another tail which this is pretty much just like him at ease i guess you could say it's just you know dropped to the behind him and curled up so that's that right there we do have the power pole we have two versions of the power pole we got the power pole out of its sheath, and then we have the power pole inside of the sheath. So, you know, as you guys know, the power pole does grow exponentially to a, a large amount of feet. Um, wow, that sounded really bad, didn't it? We also get two other head sculpts with this Goku. We get a funny, happy little, funny little happy Goku right there. It's, you know, something to go with the at ease um, tail that he has. And then we also get this one here it's probably one where he's joking about um the the boobies on that one girl all the time so yeah old school dragon ball for the win it's your balls bulma they're gone what you do get the nimbus cloud and as you can see there are a couple holes on the nimbus cloud there and that is for the stand there's actually a stand that comes inside the box too so this is a fantastic deal you get a nimbus cloud you get a three head sculpts you get a ton of um you get a ton of hand sculpts and stuff like that, different poses, you know, peace signs, fists, blast, key blast poses and stuff like that. You get two power, pole, power poles, you get the two different uh, tails, and you get Goku himself. And you also get, which I'm not sure many Dragon Ball figures actually come with, you actually get a Dragon Ball. And that is the four star Dragon Ball. You are not going to be able to see that, I don't think. Um, let's see, let's see, will it focus? 
Probably not. Let's give it some help there. No, you will not be able to see the Dragon Ball. Oh, there it is. Almost, almost. But there's a four-star Dragon Ball. You do get a Dragon Ball in there, and you get a hand that holds it as well. So that's really cool. Um, so yeah, guys, Goku, SH Figure Arts. This is the one I picked up. Uh, I really, really like this figure. I cannot wait to get them all posed up. And, I mean, there he is in the Nimbus Cloud. He just looks so, so good. That's a fantastic little figure right there. Goku. Thumbnail. All right, so without further ado, let's head over to the turntable. I'll do some poses and stuff like that, show you guys what all you can do with this figure, um, and we can just have fun with it, do some poses on the stand. I gotta build the stand real quick, obviously. That won't take much time, but uh, I'll see you guys over at the turntable. So that does it for this video. As you can tell, my SH Figure Arts game is growing. Um, I mainly just Dragon Ball Z. I do have one other SH Figure Arts that is Deadshot from the Suicide Squad. That's a really cool figure too. So yeah, I think the new Broly movie kind of kind of set this in tone for me, you know, because I'll, I've always loved Dragon Ball Z, but I, I, I haven't really been too heavy in collecting it, you know, it was just a spot in my in my shelf. But now that it's all these cool SH figure arts have come out, all these cool pops are coming out, especially that new wave, I'll fill it up here if you guys haven't seen it yet, if you care. Um, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. Um, I cannot, it's a good time to be a Dragon Ball Z collector, there's so many outlets that we can get uh, our Dragon Ball Z fix, whether it's a TV show, if you don't like collecting figures, you just like watching it. There's a movie out right now, there's a TV show out, and if you do like collecting, we got fun Funko Pops, we have Dragon Stars, we have SH Figure Arts, and I'm sure there's more out there to be discovered. It's insane what you can collect right now. So guys, with that being said, uh, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, drop a like down below. Write me a comment what you think is the best part about this figure. No? I want you guys to leave a comment down below. I know most of us like SH Figure Arts, and if there's one that you could get your hands on, which one would it be and why? Tell me that in the comments. Make sure you include that in your comment, guys. Uh, we are almost nearing 5,000 subscribers, so sooner or later there's going to be a giveaway. I'm not going to say when, um, but just know there might be a giveaway around that. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens in the future. Uh, yeah, without further ado, guys, I'm going to play with my new puppy. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but we got a puppy. So... I'll show you guys a video of her later down later this week. So, uh, and now I have to go film Good Fig in Morning for next week and or this week or something. I'm on vacation, guys. I got a lot of stuff to do. I cannot wait to do it. Um, I love you guys so freaking much. Thank you all for dropping in, checking out this video. I know I usually don't do unboxings, but uh, here we are. If you guys liked it, let me know. Maybe I can do some more of them sometime. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. And as always, stay foxy.
Yo. Yo. Once again, I'm back around. Rush it back in style.